Hello Scorpio, I am so sorry it has been a little while since your last reading. I have been up to my eyeballs, but welcome back for those of you returning and for those of you brand new, welcome to my channel. For those of you that are brand new, I always burn sage for every single reading and our sage is still smoldering away. I say our because I'm a Scorpio as well. So welcome, welcome and cross watchers, of course, welcome too. Welcome back if you're returning. And the Healing Stone Bracelet giveaway is still happening. It will continue to happen, okay? So if for those of you that are brand new, check it out in the description box. I will also pin it down in the comments below. Um, the uh, quick version is if you subscribe to our channel, which is absolutely free, like this video, go on the Facebook page, like it, leave a recommendation, or go to the Instagram, whichever one you prefer. I'm mostly on Facebook and leave a comment down below so I know you're interested in the bracelet giveaway that qualifies you to enter every month, okay? So don't forget that, and it's free to do it. It's a way of supporting the channel and us saying thank you so very much. So this is definitely a relationship reading. I'm using the um, traditional tarot here for your energy and whomever you're thinking about, I'm using the 1970s deck. I'm going to get your mutual energies with this Shea C Prism Tarot. These uh, are available online too at ShaeC.com if you're interested. We're going to go ahead and get into it. I've already meditated on the cards. I always cleanse the cards before every single reading. I'm absolutely fanatical about that. So anyhow, let's get started. Remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Sometimes things happen. I've been hearing awesome news from people. I'm so glad that you're sharing your stories with me. I've received emails and comments uh, both on Vimeo and on YouTube and in personal emails saying that things are starting to happen for some of you now. You're starting to see things happening and again it is a general read so everything happens in divine timing for each one of us. We're on our different road at different times okay and our different journeys and I'm starting to, to hear comments now that things are happening so woo woo yes Go Scorpio, go all signs. Let's all get this going here. You know, all of us have been stagnant for a while. I know we're all tired and fed up. And again, I'm a Scorpio too. So it does, you know, you do get fed up, but let's get these a shuffle. And um, if you're wearing earbuds, you might want to pull them out. These are going to be pretty loud. These cards are loud when I shuffle. So here we go for Scorpio, please. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Yeah, I decided to shake this up a little bit and use to go back to the two decks again. Um, instead of just doing an overall general spread, it is still a general read, but it's for you and your person of interest. Okay. So for those of you that, you know, um, are not interested in anybody, this may be somebody you're meeting in the future. Okay. So you may find some messages here. You may find it under your moon and rising sign. Um, you know, sometimes I res sometimes I resonate more with my moon sign. And even sometimes my rising sign. So you can get messages from all three. So check out your other signs in the playlist, okay? For Scorpio, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 2020. If this resonates for you, I always continue your reading. For those of you that are brand new over on Vimeo for small purchase price, it's a lot less expensive than a personal reading, but it might be all you need. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading, go to shacy.com. All that information is there. Let's get started. So I'm gonna do the sneak peek again in April. So I just saw 333, woo -hoo. 333. Those are angel numbers for those of you that are unfamiliar. I'm seeing them a lot. Pay attention to that. They do have meanings, you can look them up. Um, just be careful what websites you go to because some are more informative than others, okay? So let's get started. Anyways, I'm gonna do a sneak peek in the Vimeo. So if you're interested, if this is resonating for you, you wanna check that out. The link will be down below again, like I said, and I will sneak peek at March. So let's get started. For you and your love interest, we're gonna ask some questions. And I've also got some angel answer cards too. So we'll do pick a card and angel answer cards as well in that extended reading, which is usually almost 30 minutes. I'm, we'll see what we do today, but let's go. It's been a while. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 2020. What are the messages? Wow, okay. Hello. <laughs> Nine of Wands and Ten of Swords jumped out back to back. So somebody is really guarded right now. There's been an ending of a cycle that has been very painful and very difficult. And somebody has their guard up. They're blocking. They could be blocking you or somebody else. 
Um, this could be your your love interest. You know, this energy can go intermix between the two of you. I could be picking up a bit of both of you or just your love interest. I want to tell you that for those of you that are brand new, I tend to pick up our love interest more than our own energy quite often, but it definitely can go back and forth or intermix, okay? And it can be a bit of both of you. There's been something very painful that has ended here either for you or your person or between the two of you one or the other somebody's blocked off or they're setting up boundaries or they're guarding their heart here they're not trusting okay all right let's get your love interest energy now i'm going to shuffle these cards as well these ones aren't as loud so it's up to you if you want to turn your speakers down for scorpio's person of interest please spirits for march 2020 what does Scorpio need to know for their highest good place spirits for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, their person of interest. What is going on? How do they feel about Scorpio? What's going on? What does Scorpio need to know for their highest good? What is their person of interest intentions towards Scorpio? What do they need to know, please, for their highest good? <laughs> okay, so somebody's kind of trying to get away with something. Um, now... This could mean any number of things, and we're going to get into it. I don't like to really say, they call that the thief card, but, you know, that could go in many different directions until we get other cards. So I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to comment, Scorpio. We're going to keep going. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Scorpio's person of interest? What significance does it have? What significance does it have? Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords. Scorpio's person of interest, the Seven of Swords. What's going on, please? Why is it here? Why is it here, please, spirits? Why is the Seven of Swords here for Scorpio's person of interest? What do they need? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Somebody's trying to get away with something, and it can be something to do with wish fulfillment. Okay, your person may be moving toward their wish fulfillment, tiptoeing towards it. I'm feeling they I feel like they are talking to others, counselors or attorneys, lawyers, friends, family, somebody. OK, it can even be to do with business. Pentacles are about money. So far, I'm seeing Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But I'm feeling like somebody's kind of trying to tiptoe toward their wish fulfillment and they're getting opinions or um, um you know, from other people there. And it can be that they're talking to attorneys or lawyers. Maybe they're, maybe they are just going in behind the scenes to talk to lawyers or attorneys or business partners or others, friends, family about their wish fulfillment and how to accomplish it. So, you know, the seven of swords is not always a bad card. Sometimes it just means that somebody's doing something on the down low. Um, and we all do that. You know, again, talking to others and trying to figure out how to move toward the wish fulfillment, getting their opinions, okay? That's how I'm feeling. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, sometimes, you know, we discuss things with our friends privately. We want, you know, to, to say, you know, what do you think about this kind of thing, you know? Let's keep going here. Now, these two dropped out on their own, Scorpio, for us, for uh, the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So I've put them separate. Well, let's keep going. We're going to clarify. Why is, the, why is the Nine of Wands here for Scorpio? What do they need to know for their highest good, please, spirits? Why is the Nine of Wands here for Scorpio? Leave me comments down below. Let me know how far you are on your journey. I want to hear from you whether you are in on the bracelet giveaway or not. Now, the bracelet giveaway, for those of you that are brand new, I custom make them. And I just found that I needed three or four bracelets to make up one of the healing stone bracelets I have. And it's free. I pay for shipping and everything. Again, it's just if you've ever seen that movie, Pay It Forward, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm wearing the, um, I'll just show you quick. I'm wearing the I Am Enough. Can you see that? I hope you can. Sorry, my nails are terrible. I haven't had time. My daughters have been home sick, but <laughs> I've been um, trying to get myself back together. Anyways, there you go. So there's uh, all different uh, stones on there. You can read that in the description box, what stones are on there. And you get to choose your size if you're one of the lucky winners. And I pay for everything. And in answer to some of your questions, if you're out of country, it doesn't matter. I will still ship it to you for free, not to worry. Okay, so wow. You may be guarded, protecting yourself, not trusting, setting up boundaries with your person. Okay, that could be you or that's how your person's seeing you. Okay, maybe they're seeing you as guarded or protecting yourself or that's just what you're doing. Clarify the Ten of Swords here, please, for Scorpio. Why is the Ten of Swords here? 
Wow, two wanted to jump out. Seven and seven. Interesting. Waiting, feeling the need to defend or protect yourself, or maybe you've become kind of defensive. And if that's not you, it's your person. They could be trying to defend or protect you or set up boundaries with you. Again, we're going to keep going. I want to keep going. Let's check out this Three of Pentacles for Scorpio's person of interest. Manifesting. Yeah, see, I feel like your person is trying to manifest change here. Uh, for some reason, they're feeling the need to go under the down low and talk to others about what their wish fulfillment is in order to make it happen. They're trying to make things happen, Scorpio. Um, I'm feeling like you are their wish fulfillment. Okay. And they're talking to others about how to manifest this, how to make it happen, getting their opinions. Uh, and again, or it could be that they're talking to attorneys or lawyers, or it could be any counselors, anybody that's going to kind of help give them the information to get to the point of where they can make things happen. And if that's not them, it's you, remember. And this can be somebody you're meeting in the future. Um Let's keep going. Why is the King of Cups here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Now, that can be also if you're dealing with another water sign, Scorpio, um, Pisces, or Cancer, okay? It can be also that um, someone is defending or protecting your honor. It could be, okay? Somebody's going and ending a painful cycle here, waiting, Okay, again, it's interesting. I feel like this might be all of your love interest energy because uh, love interest, friend, whomever it is to you, but the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands here, I'm feeling like somebody is um, maybe having um, counselors, lawyers, or somebody defending or protecting them even after an ending has occurred. Maybe they're having to stand up for themselves or others are standing up for them or for you. But this is about putting a lot of effort, you know, and this can even be in business. Like I was saying, we've got pentacles here in the three of pentacles. That's teamwork. That's collaboration. That's working together um, either again with friends, attorneys, families, but somebody's put a lot of work and effort in. It can even be that somebody's working with business partners or put so much effort in and they're waiting for the growth on that. They're waiting and they're talking to others about how to make this business grow, how to make this pile of money grow or um, accumulating investments or whatever it is. Um, but because the 10 of swords are here, uh, somebody's ending something that was painful. That's thoughts. Okay. If you've been having a lot of painful thoughts, a lot going through a lot of agony that way, this is the ending to that. That's the ending to that. We're going to find out why. I don't know why I just switched these. i got to concentrate. <laughs> but yeah, somebody's trying to defend or protect. They're standing up for themselves. That's what I'm seeing here. They're, they're guard. It's almost like they're guarding you, Scorpio. Protecting you. Talking to others about their wish fulfillment. But they're doing it on the down low. They're trying to make things happen. We're going to keep going. I need to confirm that. King of Cups, again, in, in the extended, I will confirm with other decks as well. King of Cups as we go along. King of Cups, why is the King of Cups here for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what do they need to know for their highest good, please, spirits? The King of Cups, why is it here? Why is it here, please, the King of Cups? Clarify the King of Cups for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and... Woo! Wow, Scorpio, I want to show you this card where it landed. Look, look at that. This is what happens. Doop. Yeah, okay. Scorpio, this could be you or it could be your person. I meditated on your energy, but again, like I said, it can crisscross over intermix and each one of you are going to be different, okay? So however it plays out from your perspective or cross-watcher. Somebody's blocking themselves or protecting themselves. They're, they're just not, they're kind of scared. It's kind of like I've set up my barriers. They're having a lot of nightmares. They're staying up at night. They're worrying. That could be you not trusting. Maybe you feel like your person's trying to get away with something or they're being dishonest, Okay. You know, um, you're fearing, maybe you have some fears, you're, you're kind of blocking your heart, or maybe they feel you are, again, depending who you are. This can be you blocking them, or them blocking you, or they feel you are blocking them. Somebody has a lot of fears and anxiety, they're kind of not trusting what's going on, they're not really sure. 
I feel like it could be you, you know, um, maybe waiting here, ending a difficult cycle. But I feel like it could be intermixed here. Again, you're all going to be different. We're going to do some more clarification. I want to know, please, spirits, why is that seven of wands here for Scorpio? Seven of wands for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What can you tell us? Scorpio, this is seven of wands. The seven of wands. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I feel like this is almost intermixed. I feel like when I clarified the ten of swords, the seven of pentacles come out. Somebody's put a lot of effort in here. Okay. Into work or I'm feeling a love situation here. Or a business. Okay, but there's an ending here and somebody feels like they've worked really hard for either this business or this relationship here or wish fulfillment and they're defensive or standing up for themselves in a family situation here. Ten of Pentacles is, is another completion. Ten and ten. This is completion. This could be you. You put a lot of effort in, into a relationship and you're you're kind of not trusting. You're, you're kind of got your guard up and you're staying up at night worrying, waiting maybe for an ending to happen or this is your person closing out a chapter in their life. You or them. Somebody's waiting, okay? But it could be that they are having and feeling the need to defend or protect themselves and maybe kind of blocking or protecting you even if this is energy or you're dealing with another water sign okay again I have all the signs here on the table but somebody is feeling the need to either wait for growth in a business or money to accumulate as a chapter ends in their life because this is about having it all it's about having the family this is about having the home together and the assets together when you come together as a couple and you have everything but now we've got completion here there is something ending and I feel like somebody is almost waiting for money to accumulate here um, and talking to attorneys or lawyers about it and maybe it's because there was a lot of abundance here okay and they could be trying to even sneak off and, and stockpile their money here and save it and talking to others about how they can make this happen their wish fulfillment okay manifesting their wish fulfillment here talking to others again attorneys lawyers friends whomever it is I feel this is your person they may be needing you know to defend themselves or stand up for themselves in a long-term commitment closing out a chapter here trying to save money being self-defensive perhaps trying to keep or stockpile some of that money I mean look at I when I look at this I kind of sometimes think somebody's stockpiling their money and they're waiting until they get to the nine when they get to the nine of Pentacles you know that's when when they're single and they're abundant and they're doing well and and going from a marriage to being single Somebody could be waiting, you know, to become single, but they need to accumulate their money. And they're talking to others about how to do this. How do, how do I make my wish come true here? How do I, how do I make this happen here? Okay. And they're fearing it. Maybe it's because you've set up boundaries. You may have set up boundaries with your person. This could be both of you having some fear, having some, some, you know, anxiety and, and kind of, you know, just protecting. You're both kind of protecting your heart right now or they see you this way. Okay. We need to keep going here. <laughs> I should be almost at the extended soon. Scorpio, it's been a while and I like to give us all a good reading. I got to do cancer next. So for those of you that are dealing with a cancer, I will be doing their video next. I want to clarify the seven of swords again here, please, for Scorpio's person. Can you clarify the seven of swords here again, please, spirits, for Scorpio's person? Why is it here? What do they need to know for their highest good, please, spirits? What, are the, what is Scorpio's person of interest and tensions with them? Why is the seven of swords here? What does it mean? Seven of swords. Seven of swords, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah. 
your person again is trying to sort out a whole bunch of different uh, decisions. They've got all these different decisions to make and they're talking to others about it. How do I make this happen? Help me figure out each one of these things. This might be a car, this might be a house, this might be bank accounts, this could be um, you live in uh, different parts of the country or the world or different cities. How do I get there? How, what, do, what should I do? What steps should I take? This is about collaborating with others about what steps do I take, um, but doing it on the down low. Okay, doing it secretly. Somebody's being careful about the choices they make, feeling the need to defend or protect themselves. And I feel it's about uh, money, assets. It's, it could be asset division because there is, there is a, a, a long-term, I feel, commitment here ending. Okay? And somebody's waiting. They're waiting for growth in material assets, perhaps. Okay, but they have a lot of fears. Maybe it's because you've set up boundaries or you're blocking yourself off and they're having to defend themselves or, or you know, be strong through this whole cycle change, this whole shift in their life. It's a major shift here. I should probably get the world card next or judgment, but this is about making choices and talking to others about what can I do to make this happen and keeping it quiet. Somebody's keeping this quiet. They're very private. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, they're stuck. See? What should I do? But they're not really. Of course, this person can move anytime they want. But mentally, they're feeling kind of trapped. Okay? They're fearing. They're fearing, you know, maybe having to stay put. Or fearing the fact that they're keeping this on the down low. They'll get caught. Whatever the case is. All those mental thoughts that go on in our head of fear, right? Let's see what the mutual energies are. We're going to do a lot of clarification. So don't worry. Um, for Scorpio and their person. Wow, that was super fast. Healing. Okay, wow. Yeah, your person's trying to heal through all of this as well. And stand strong and stay strong here. Okay, they're, they may be you know, having to defend themselves, even in court. I'm not seeing the justice card here yet, but I'm, there's a difficult ending here. It's painful. And I feel like somebody is having to stand up for themselves. They're fe currently feeling stuck and trapped where they are and they want out and they're talking to others about how to accomplish each one of these goals that they have and they're keeping it quiet. That's what I'm seeing here. They're healing. You're healing. They're healing. There may be trust issues here because of it. You know, because they're having to to keep quiet or they're, maybe they're not sharing with you right now. Or you're both going through healing right now. Somebody is definitely ending a, a, a difficult situation here. And they're feeling the need to do things very quietly. Okay? And it's because they feel trapped. They feel trapped where they are. Um, and again, it can be for financial reasons here. Because I feel like somebody is really either trying to defend you know, um, their assets or their money or their resources waiting for growth here, waiting for it to grow here. Okay. Mutual energies, please, between Scorpio and their person of interest. What do they need to know? How are they both mutually mirroring one another, please, spirits? How are they mutually mirroring with one another, please, spirits? March 2020. Ooh, I love the way that one flew. Wow, what was I saying? Scorpio, self-sufficient single. Wow, there you go. Okay, so maybe you're both currently single right now or, you know, one or one of you is and one of you isn't. Somebody's just just defending themselves here and and I feel ending a situation. Trying to figure things out here. I feel this is your person. Okay? Let's get one more please spirits for Scorpio and the person of interest. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What's going on? Woo, love it. Ah, nice. That's a good card. This is beautiful. I love seeing this card because somebody is focused. Somebody is planning the future. And what was I saying? I feel like you both are, okay? But this is about talking to, uh, to others on how to accomplish these different goals that somebody set for the future. I want out. I feel stuck. I feel trapped. I'm going to talk to some other people, friends, attorneys, lawyers, uh, counselors, whatever the case is. How do I, how do I do this? How do I accomplish this? How do I make it happen? How do I get to my wish fulfillment here? Okay. Somebody wants to go towards wish fulfillment here. They feel stuck where they are. Um, 
and it's painful for them. I feel they feel stuck here. But this is the end of that. They're going to move towards, or you, again, remember, flip it how you need to, move towards um, a brand new beginning here because after 10 comes the, the aces. That's a new beginning. Let's find out where we're going from here, Scorpio. We're going to go ahead. We're going to pull some more clarification on your person here. We're going to sneak peek at April. And I can't believe it's almost April already. I cannot believe it. We're going to find out where this wish fulfillment is going. Are we going to get out of the stuck energy? And is the waiting going to be over? Let's find out. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull some of the angel answer cards. So you'll get to ask. I'll pull three in the extended. You can ask questions and I'll flip over three. And we're going to definitely do the Mystic Moon Oracle. I'm going to pull some more mutual energies and, of course some more of the traditional tarot and I definitely want to pull some of my enchanted tarot as well let's pull one right now I'm gonna pull one right now okay for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising and Venus the messages they need to hear for their highest good please spirits for March Ooh, thank you Wow three of swords yeah yeah this may have been a third party situation others involved in this relationship and that can be anybody it can be um, maybe there was a job you know that was in the way or uh, distance was in the way uh, another person was in the way somebody's ending something currently it could be that um, there is again family members and others involved or whomever this is about heartbreak this is you know somebody's trying to plan ahead and make things happen here and they are definitely talking and discussing with others on how to accomplish it so let's find out if there is any forward movement with your person here um, and with you and let's find out where we're going here if is there any action being taken is there is <laughs> let's find out somebody is definitely very uh, secretive here keeping things on the download let's find out if everything gets exposed in that extended here Scorpio inquiring minds want to know I want to know I will meet you over there so if this is where you leave me I will see you next time and for those of you meeting me over on Vimeo for the continuation I will be right there thank you so much for being patient and waiting and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe which is absolutely free and don't forget to leave me a comment if you want to get on the bracelet giveaway thank you so much Scorpio as always namaste